The gaming and tech worlds are buzzing with anticipation as AMD gears up for the release of its RDNA 4 GPUs, specifically the highly awaited Radeon RX 8000 series. Set to debut in the first quarter of 2025, the launch will coincide with CES 2025 in January. But what can we expect from these new offerings? Will AMD, the underdog challenger to NVIDIA's dominance, manage to make a significant mark in the competitive GPU market once again? Let's find out. While specific details of RX 8000 are still under wraps, PCGuide.com has given us a glimpse into what we can expect. First of all, AMD's RDNA 4 architecture is the foundation of the future Radeon RX 8000 series. The RDNA 4 architecture is expected to focus on the mid-range market, positioning AMD to reach a broader audience without going head-to-head -head with NVIDIA's high-end offerings. RX 8000 series will be built on TSMC's N4P process node. This 4 nanometer process promises to deliver both improved performance and better power efficiency. Consumers will likely see a performance boost over the previous generation, especially in terms of raw clock speeds, which are expected to reach between 3.0 GHz and 3.3 GHz. This leap in clock speeds should bring substantial gains in overall GPU performance. We get to know from the leaks that AMD is aiming for a more affordable mid-range tier of performance that can still deliver exceptional gaming and professional experiences without the sky-high price tags of flagship models. According to WCCFTech.com, AMD Radeon RX 8000 RDNA 4 GPU SKU listed at 16 GB which matches the RX 7800 XT and RX 7900 GRE. This confirms a 256-bit bus interface for high-end RDNA 4 cards, and we can expect certain configurations to get 192-bit bus interfaces with 12 GB VRAM capacities. Currently, there's no information on the type of memory used here, but previous reports have suggested that AMD will utilize GDDR6 memory for its RDNA 4 lineup, clocked around 18 GB per second. Despite the focus on mid-range performance, the RDNA 4 architecture promises several new enhancements that should get gamers and content creators excited. For one, AMD is expected to bring much-needed improvements to ray tracing capabilities. The new GPUs should be able to provide more realistic lighting and shadows in games. It's been speculated that AMD may introduce AI-driven upscaling technology similar to NVIDIA's DLSS. AMD plans to develop FSR4 as an AI-based solution, aiming to enhance upscaling and frame generation quality. AMD's board partners are preparing to launch custom models of the RX 8000 series also. For instance, PowerColor is rumored to introduce a new Reaper lineup targeting the mainstream segment, expected to debut at CES 2025. What stands out most about the upcoming Radeon RX 8000 series is AMD's apparent shift in strategy. One important factor that will be on everyone's mind is pricing. The prices are expected to be higher than the previous RX 7000 series. This increase is largely due to rising production costs, particularly after TSMC increased the price of its 3 nanometer wafer process by a hefty 22%. This increase in production costs could translate to a price bump for consumers, but the exact price difference will depend on how AMD handles the challenges of maintaining a competitive pricing structure while facing increased manufacturing costs. It looks like the RX 8000 series won't take long to hit the mid-range market. But a concern is past AMD GPUs, such as the Radeon 8500, faced challenges due to driver issues and underwhelming performance. While AMD has made strides since then, there's a possibility that the RX 8000 series could encounter similar hurdles, affecting user experience. Though it's based on current information and rumors, we will have to wait until January 2025 for its release to closely compare with the previous model. Till then, keep your hopes high and fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.